With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, here the question is a combination of two identical power magnets are placed one over the other such that they are perpendicular and bisect each other. The time period of oscillation in horizontal magnetic field is 2 to the power 5 by 4 seconds. One of the magnets is removed and if the other magnet oscillates in the same field, then the time period in seconds is. So here we have given that initially we have two bar magnets, two identical bar magnets and they are placed over one another such that they are perpendicular to each other and they are bisecting, bisecting to each other. So this combination of two bar magnets is having a time period of oscillation as t uh, is equal to 2, t, 2 to the power 5 by 4 seconds. So this is time period of oscillation for the combination of two bar magnets. Now what we have given if we remove one of the magnets but the magnets other magnet is still moving in the same magnetic field means magnitude of that magnetic field is the same. So for this we have to calculate new time of oscillation for that single magnet. So this magnet is moving in horizontal magnetic field. So the time period is given by t equal to 2 pi square root of i divided by p h into m. So this is the formula. I is the moment of inertia. M is magnetic momentum and B is horizontal magnetic field. But for the first case, we know that there are two magnets. So uh, total inertia will be 2I. Total magnetic moment will be square root of. Uh, if suppose both magnets are identical and they are having magnetic moment of M. So their aggregate magnetic moment, resultant magnetic moment will be square root of m square plus m square which is equal to square root of 2 into m. So t for expression for t will be like t equal to 2 pi square root of 2i divided by ph into square root of 2. Uh, sorry here square root of 2 into m is there not 2 into square root of m. So here the expression will be like uh, the net magnetic momentum will be square root of 2 into m. So here it is root 2 into m. So now this is the expression. So if we solve this t will be equal to 2 pi square root of if we divide this 2 and root 2. So we will get root 2 into i divided by ph into m. So this is the final expression. But for the single magnet, this t dash time period which we want to calculate will be 2 pi into square root of i divided by ph into m. This is the second equation. So if we divide these equations, what we will get t dash divided by t is equal to 2 pi square root of i divided by ph into m into here if we write this expression by inverting it what we will get 1 by 2 pi into square root of v h into m divided by root 2 into i. Now this 2 pi will get cancelled and these whole things will get cancelled. What we will get t dash by t is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 whole raised to 1 by 2. So it is like 1 by 2 raised to 1 by 2 and whole raised to again 1 by 2. So, we can write this as 1 by 2 raised to 1 divided by 4. So, t dash will be equal to t divided by 2 raised to 1 by 4. Now, value of this t is what? 2 raised to 5 by 4. And if we take this 2 upward, 2 raised to minus 1 by 4 it will be so here 2 raised to 5 minus 1 by 4. So it is 2 raised to 4 by 4 or 2 raised to 1. So new time period of oscillation will be only 2 seconds. So if we check the options here, the correct option is option C. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.